song Seem like the whole city go against me Every time I'm in the street I hear yuck, 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 yuck. Men down Where you from? Hey guys, it's JBot Jr. here, and this is my first impressions on Overwatch. Alright, the character that you see on the screen, the robot dude, I don't remember his name, even though I'm looking at it. Um, he's somewhat OP. If, you have, if you're defending something, it's going to be harder to go up against this character. Um... Since sometimes your the enemies can get out faster from their spawn, you'll see in this video, and I will point it out too. So they can get faster out of their spawn and defend whatever that we're trying to capture or trying to get to their base. Sometimes it works out for them, and sometimes it don't work out for us, or it works out for us, but um. The problem is, I'm gonna go with the problems first. You can't run. Um, certain characters are weaker than others. Um, some is unbalanced. The turn guy, that he's turning and turning, it literally annihilate your health. Even if you're a tank or even if you have um, some type of armor or defense, it, it just goes right through it. Um, special the special abilities i feel that it makes it a little bit easy or casual a little bit and and that's good in a way so you get a free kill but at the same time if you use it at the wrong time and get killed it probably will disappear most of the time unless if you use the ninja and you use it like when you just used it in and your sword is coming out and you died it will stay still with you um, even the turret character, if it, you get killed trying to turn into an actual tank, uh, you still get, get to keep your special ability even though if you used it. In a way, that's still kind of OP a little bit, but hey, um, it, it works out for some people and sometimes they need it and I guess it's really helpful. Now... Certain characters have other special abilities that could stop you from moving. Um, I don't remember her name, but she literally can stop you from moving, and it's a very big problem. See, right there, the guy, it's like, it's like literally was two turrets onto the defense where we have to capture and take it to our base. It's kind of hard to even walk out to actually face these guys because they will be on top of it um and i don't like that that how they can get out first and we can't or we at least can't um get we you have to set up some type of strategy when like when you get out there and your your um enemy is already out there because they already set up their plans their sentries their bombs their sent um other sentries because it's other people have sentry two um defenses um other things even traps poison stuff like that um little maker got poison um support characters really can help out because they give shields and also sentries um my favorite one is the girl that has like some plasma like gun but you have to get close to them, really close to them to suck away their health. Somehow suck away, but you don't get any health. You just, you're just you just giving them, like, taking it. You're killing them, technically. It's a slow kill, but it gets stronger as how many times you use it. But she also can put up six sentries in the area. And that is kind of literally OP in a sense. Because if she gets six sentries onto the defense cat, your sentries does good damage, good enough to literally kill them. You can get like uh, maybe a triple if you set them up right, or you set them up um, high enough, or you put them in a good place so they won't be able to shoot them. Um, then your sentries will do the max of damage. And 
as a certain amount of map, uh, like a certain maps that actually works for that. Um, some characters have less health, some characters does less damage, and most likely you won't be able to take out anybody because usually you will need some support or assist on trying to take out your enemy. But besides the point, here's the good things. The good thing is that it's always a chance to come back. It's team-based. Um, it's not casual in the sense that, hey, I can just put up my special ability, ability anytime I want. You have to have it. You got to charge it up to 100%. If you don't charge it up to 100%, you're most likely will not have your, your literally, you won't get your special ability. Certain characters, you can get your special ability faster. Some tank character, one tank character, if you destroy her tank, her robot machine, she can get it really fast, but she gotta keep shooting people to regain her, her, like, her ability. So, in the same way as, like, some for other characters, you have to shoot or kill, um, get points to regain your ultimate, like, your ability bar. So you can do your ultimate or your special ability, uh, whatever you want to call it. But the most character in this game that's more annoying than anything is this girl right here. Because if she gets damaged enough, she literally can just go on the iceberg or she could just freeze you where you at and that can kill you slowly as possible. Um, since I got the robot, I can heal myself before I go back out there, but if I didn't have that ability and if she stayed a little bit more after she froze me, I would have died because all she had to do was come right back and freeze me again and punch me. Cause she, she could freeze a whole area. Then she can like finish you off with her freeze gun or make a, make a crystal like shot and then shoot you and kind of does good enough damage to kill you. Um, but she has the most most good skills in the game because she can block doorways so literally if you spawn to tell you the truth if you spawn and nobody else got out of the spawn if you had three characters that can just block the way at the door so they won't get out of their spawn you can actually do that it, i've seen it happen um i'll try to spawn in three iceberg characters i don't really know what their names this is a girl version so they could freeze up the three door paths and it will block you from actually coming out they could do this almost every time if they get to kill you and the whole team is like at spawn um but could make you stall for time you could destroy them of course it's possible destroying them but it's also kind of hard too and, and sometimes it's annoying because it will throw you off and you have to figure out a way to kill her because by the time you try to figure out a way to kill her, she probably in her iceberg. No matter how many times you shoot her in her iceberg state and she's healing herself at the same time, she can automatically break out of the iceberg at any time and run away. Because if she has her special ability, all she got to do is drop it down and you run into special ability. Oh, you got caught in the ice. So you frozen and you can get killed by her if she choose to come back. Um, Shotgun Reaper. Uh, I feel like he's kind of OP a little bit some way or somehow because he, the shotguns is like he does massive damage. Uh, I never used the character because I thought he was a little cheap it's because he could disappear or not disappear, but you he, he'll be floating around and you can't shoot him, and I hated that. Um, but I did like the grenade launcher characters that you could just shoot grenade launchers and it'll help you defend or offensive way to get your, uh, like, get your car to the enemy base or capture capture the area. Um, cer certain areas, you have uh, a way to use certain characters on and it's always about team team if you don't have a team you're most likely going to lose if your team only use one of the characters 
and everybody picked the same character, you're most likely going to lose. Because you need tank characters, you need uh, snipers, you need support characters, and you need a healer. Trust and believe. If you do not have any of that, you're most likely going to lose. And you need to coordinate. If you don't coordinate, your teammates will lose. And I'm going to keep saying this because it's literally team based. You cannot just have one slip up. You have you can may have two sentry guys like the character I'm using um, and you have to use a healer or a support character to support them because even though they can heal themselves, even though they can do all this, but you also need to have some way of having a defense so you can spawn. See, the character that I told you that has the plasma and stuff like that, she's more like a support character that when you're at spawn, she could put up a teleporter and teleport you to where the objective is. Um, it depends on how good it the teleporter she put at so you can have the upper hand when you teleport it from spawn to the area where you need to go to if the enemy know where to teleport it at they can literally shoot you or shoot the teleporter so you will have a longer time to actually get to the area because you can't run you literally can't see i'm doing well in this game because i'm like i'm using the turn dude somewhat and i'm using I I hope I did use other characters, but at the same time, it's really fun to go around and use other characters, but I'll show you other characters in my other gameplay, and I'll show you what I was talking about, the sentries and stuff like that. Um, since you can put sentries down, like six sentries, um, any place, anywhere, um, it can really do massive damage to objective modes. And support the team since she could give defense also um, another character I love to use would be the um, plasma girl um, she has this most shield in the game she has 400 health most likely because of her shield her shield could regenerate if you shoot at her in a way it, how can I explain it it's like you shoot her for a certain amount of time, her shield regenerates. So if you shoot her and she got that ability up and you can see a purple ball around her and or anybody that has the purple ball around them, she regenerates her shield. She's most likely hard to kill if she's literally hitting you and you're hitting her if she got her ability on. But she is most easiest to kind of kill in a way because if she has no shield she's a sitting duck if she has no ability she's a sitting duck if she uses her special ability in any way she perform you close to her and she uses her special ability she her special ability is gravity so you pull her put everybody into this gravity hole is like on dark um um I'm I, I studied this, a black hole. I studied this, a black hole, and you, like, so I got killed by my own special ability somehow because, in a way, I got this big hammer dude that can put up a shield anytime he wants, and I was sucking him in and I was trying to zap him with my gun. I got too close to the fellow, and he killed me. So. It's a way that you could get killed even though like you use your special ability and uh, with her but it's other characters in the game that I feel is like really good and somewhat really cheap but this game is very enjoyable I love it um, so far I am not sure if I'm gonna get the game anytime soon but if I do I'll make sure I put up some gameplay for it and I'll show you all the gameplay, and I mean all the gameplay I have on Overwatch because that's how much I enjoyed the game. And um, other than that, stay tuned for more. And I want to say one thing, I, you know, I'll make a video for this. But leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.